I was black in this blitz game, and my opponent went for a Danish gambit. Very dangerous tactical opening. I accept the gambit. I go down the main line. Uh, I have another video describing the theory in this line. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I prefer the move d5 called the Schlechter defense, and this diffuses some of white's attack. So my opponent took the pawn with his bishop, keeping lines open, but then knight to f6 attacks the bishop. Now, the game continued with um, an unusual move here, not the main line, knight to c3. Um, the old way people used to play this was to go into uh, an end game with the tactic bishop takes f7 check, take the bishop, white wins the queen, and black uh, calls check and wins the queen back due to this discovery. White actually drops the queen back to d2 and trades like this. And then the position has equal material, and there are about equal chances. Um, this is not usually what white wants when playing the Danish gambit. He wants a strong attack on the king and an early win. Uh, and so my opponent's choice of knight to c3 um, serves those purposes of trying to keep the queens on the board, keep it complicated, and continue to play a pawn down. Uh, white did gambit two pawns in the opening, but black gives one back with that Schlechter defense move d5. Okay, so after knight c3, uh, I play knight takes bishop, knight takes d5, and here you would like to play c6 to drive that knight away, but that would be a blunder. There's a tactic, knight to f6 check, and um, if I take that knight, then white trades queens and gets a fork on the f6 square and wins the rook in the corner. So I cannot play c6 in that position. Luckily, I remembered my theory from the earlier video, and I played knight to d7. And now that the queen has been blocked off, uh, black can play c6 on his next move. So my opponent played knight f3, I played c6, then knight f4. So my opponent wants to keep as many pieces on the board as possible and attack my king. Um, I played bishop b4 check with the intent of trading a, a minor piece or getting this knight pinned, um, but my opponent just sidesteps the check wisely with king to f1 and continues to attack. This rook can get into the game later after pushing the h-pawn. Um, the engine suggested instead of bishop to b4, I should have played queen to a5 check. Because then if the knight blocks the check, uh, black has the move bishop to d6 since the queen is no longer on that square, uh, attacking this knight, getting ready to castle. So getting a tempo with that move. Um, and if the knight doesn't block and the queen blocks instead, then black is happy to get the queens off the board. So I think queen to a5 was a better move, but I played bishop to b4 check, king f1, and then I castled. Now my opponent played queen to d4, a double attack, threatening mate on, on g7 and threatening my bishop. But the computer noted that a better move is bishop takes g7. This is a wild opening. Um, the point is, if the king takes the bishop, then we have queen to d4 forking the king and the bishop and regaining the piece. So wild stuff instead... Uh, my opponent played queen to d4, forking mate and the bishop, and that looks good too if I didn't have this nice resource. Queen to f6, blocking the mate and attacking the knight on f4 at the same time, so I'm happy to trade those minor pieces. Uh, instead of trading, my opponent played e5, threatening my queen and still threatening my bishop, so I dropped the queen back to e7 to guard the bishop. But then e6, renewing the mate threat, and I played uh, knight to f6 to save my knight and block the mate threat. I think the computer much preferred um, f takes e6, guarding the mate with the queen and winning that pawn. But like I said, it's a very complicated uh, position. 
Um, and it's only going to get more complicated from here. That's not the type of chess I like to play. Um, so e takes f7 check, rook takes f7, knight to g5, attacking the rook, bringing the, the knight in closer for the kill, rook to f8, queen to c4 check along this nice open diagonal, king goes to the corner, and this square is becoming tender. Um, my opponent pushes h4, another great move, relentlessly attacking. Um, going to do a rook lift at some point. Uh, bishop to d6, apparently that's a blunder, although it's even too complicated for me to fully understand after the game. Um, I did want to. I didn't want to leave my bishop where it has to be nursed by my queen the whole time, and I did want to trade a pair of, of minor pieces and get rid of one of White's attackers. But apparently, I think I needed this bishop to guard the e1 square against rook to e1, attacking my, attacking my queen and getting the rook into the game, um, which is what happened after bishop to d6. Then comes rook to e1. Um, and then I made an, a second blunder in a row, apparently, according to the engine. Queen to d7, saving my queen was a blunder. Um, the correct move is queen to c7, and I think the point is you need this bishop to help protect this square, even though there are a pair of knights in addition to the rook. Um, this is what might have happened. The knight might have come in to fork the rook and the queen, but then bishop takes knight. The other knight forks the rook and the queen, but then black has queen to f7, pinning the knight to the queen, and black is safe in that position. But instead, I played queen to d7, blocking my own bishop. So that alone should have told me not to play that move. Don't block in your bishop that hasn't developed yet. Okay, knight f d6 comes in for the kill. Um, rook to e8. Queen d4, and I think the engine has been screaming at white to play uh, rook to h3, and white is not making too many productive moves in this position. Um, I play b6. By the way, white has a cute tactic for at least a couple moves here. Um, white could take the bishop because of queen takes queen and then knight to f7 forking here, but then his knight does fall on e6 and black regains the the piece that he lost um, so i play b6 since i'm blocking my bishop i want to get my bishop out i want to finketo or put it here call check on the king with tempo um, h5 the computer hated it said no no play rook h3 rook h3 was like plus five and then h5 was like a minus one or something so it really needed to get his rook into the action. Um, but he plays h5. I play h6 to stop it from coming any further. And then with just a few seconds on the clock, my opponent was really trying hard to find some way to break through in this five-minute game without an increment and wasted almost all of his time to get to this position and couldn't find anything and lashed out with queen takes f6 but that leads nowhere after taking the queen. My opponent's time ran out, but I was not in danger at all. Um, after king to g8 here, there are no further checks, and I have an overwhelming material advantage. Okay, so it's not really easy to defuse the Danish gambit in a blitz game. If white wants to continue attacking, he can do so, especially with this move knight to c3. Okay, thanks for watching the video.